Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. It was the morning of November 7th, and it's a beautiful, high-pressure, clear morning. Actual temperature this morning was about 30 degrees. We have a northeast wind. It, uh, it's supposed to be about 10 miles per hour. It doesn't feel like that, but with the wind chill, it said 23 degrees, so it's nice and cool. And uh, we're set up in the same stand that we were in last night. We're right on the riverbank here with a northeast wind blowing back across the river. We have a big doe bedding area here, and we're just expecting bucks to come and cruise the downwind side of this bedding area. We got in here a little bit late this morning, but we've already seen, uh, we saw one mature buck driving in, and then a couple small bucks and a doe so far since we've been in the stand. So just looking forward to the morning. We're gonna get quiet and enjoy the hunt. side of those thick trees right there. I saw him. I wonder if he's trying to find her. Yeah, I think he is. He's looking like right in her direction. I got top of this. It's so funny to watch. Like he's like looking like yeah. the wrong way. <laughs> he's walking towards her now. Just further to the right. I mean, he's walking towards it, but he keeps looking way to the left. Maybe there's another one. See if he's looking up off to the left. There's gotta be another deer. He's gotta be able to see her. No, he's going left. I think I smell her. She was, maybe. It's about 10.45 and uh, we're going to wrap up the hunt. It was really slow, a lot slower than I was hoping on the morning of November 7th with such good conditions, but uh, it is what it is. We saw two small bucks, um, a young 10, nice young 10. Kept seeing him all morning really, he's running a doe around. And one doe came and bedded back in here early in the morning, but that was it. So we're going to go ahead and switch spots. We get, um, packed up take these sets take these stands down we're going to stay on this farm for this afternoon hunt so we just got to uh, game plan a little bit and go get back up in a tree hopefully before too long so hopefully this afternoon is a little bit better well, shortly after two o'clock here the afternoon of november 7th and mike and i are all settled in for the evening hunt we're hunting the spot on the new farm that we haven't hunted yet uh, it's just kind of this little open grass field uh, that's surrounded by some thick cover on one side and big ag fields on the other so we're hoping to catch these deer moving out from the thick cover and, and into the fields this evening 
We've got north wind. Uh, temps probably in the mid 40s. It stayed, you know, fairly cool most of the day. We had uh, somewhat of a slow hunt this morning on the other side of the farm, so we're gonna try this side. There's a lot of thick cover around here, and obviously being November 7th, we're hoping to catch a cruising buck on this downwind side of this thick bedding cover, or maybe catch a buck that's already with a doe heading out uh, for the evening. So we'll see. We've got about three hours uh, left for our sit, and uh, should be a good evening. We're running out of light here, so Mike and I are going to wrap things up. It's been an incredible evening. Tons of deer out moving. We can see forever from this spot in a lot of different directions. So we saw 30 plus deer probably uh, between all the fields we can see. The main highlights were uh, a very mature deer that we're calling Gronk. Uh, this deer is super visible. We've seen him nearly every time we've stepped foot on this farm. We saw him walking in this morning. Um, he's just he's just everywhere he's on all the cameras so it's cool to see him from the stand for the first time um, just a, a very mature buck that we'd like to take out and uh, the second good buck that we saw this deer we're calling JJ 
he was uh, a little bit towards last light but he was all, all out in the same field that uh, Gronk was in just a beautiful looking deer uh, Mike and I are, are thinking he's another four and a half year old that we'd like to see uh, make it through this season so pretty awesome sit good to see those two deer in person and and good to see really good deer moving. we've had a couple slow hunts here lately uh, so it's good to change things around I know Mike has to go back to work for a couple days I should be able to get out uh, Wednesday and Thursday it's supposed to be nice and cool again so I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings <laughs>